worst race riots since those two years ago in the Watts section of Los Angeles, Rock, New Jersey's largest city, Newark, for five consecutive days and nights. At least 24 persons are killed. More than 1,800 wounded, some 1,400 arrested. Despite patrolling by city and state police, millions of dollars in property damage is done. Looters wreck and clean out scores of shops in the Negro Ghetto District. The fury of the mob makes any official-looking vehicle a target. Two days after its beginning, police are augmented by National Guardsmen. Snipers make the streets a battlefield. Governor Hughes terms the rioting open rebellion, just like wartime. Sniper fire from open windows kills two policemen, a fire captain shot in the back while answering a false alarm, and several bystanders. Scores of police, troopers, guardsmen, and civilians are wounded. Officials said the snipers, some believed not to be Newark residents, used guns stolen from a local rifle factory. Even machine guns were used. Because of widespread looting, eight emergency food centers are set up to supply milk, bread, and cereal to besieged and terrorized residents. Looters arrested by National Guardsmen are dealt with swiftly. A 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew is clamped on fully one-third of Newark. While Newark struggles to restore peace and order, the racial bitterness spreads to four nearby suburban towns where a policeman is beaten to death, guns are stolen, looting and violence are reported. New Jersey, a state under siege.